In this tutorial, we'll show you how to properly configure the Point Storage Manager in just a few steps. After installation, you will be taken to the First Time Configuration screen. If this option is deselected, the Configuration Helper will launch the first time you start the Point Storage Manager. If you want to make any changes at a later date, you can do so by clicking Tasks – Set up Point Storage Manager. Next, you will need the serial number, the product key, and the license key. The license key must be entered manually. You will receive a temporary or permanent license key from us or your partner. Enter your license key in the corresponding field. Now you can change the path settings for databanks and the temporary image volume and volume cache. It is a good idea to store the databank and the temporary image volume and volume cache on separate drives. Each installation will generate an individual system key. You have the option to export this key or to import one from a previous installation. The system key contains important information which enables authorized access to stored and archived data. It is also used for data authentication and encryption, so it should be kept as securely as possible. At this stage, we strongly recommend you securely export the system key and keep it in a safe place. Finally, you'll need to provide a user account. Please note that the user must have administrator rights to work effectively with the Point Storage Manager. Click Select and enter the complete username and the associated password. Enter the password again to confirm it. If you do not know the complete username, you can enter the part you do know. The Configuration Helper will try to auto-complete it by searching first Local, then Domain Users. Click Finish to complete first-time configuration. The Storage Manager should then restart. In the next tutorial, we'll configure an archive device together.